this. There's instructions. Step one, slide back. Step two, put, put them. So many nice things. Box it. Step three, slide forward. Step four, trigger. Okay, that seems easy enough. So, first of all, we are doing the blaster part piece. So, this is the blaster piece. It has one tactical rail. Instructions on one side that tell you where my where my fingers are circling. They tell you how to prime it and shoot it and stuff. There's an attachment piece right here for any stock stocks and um, a trigger, um, a button so you can slide this and then the magazine will slide out. Um, some just decoration here and then a stock for just one dart and a little clip. So you can put like a um, um, one of those clips that you can push in and then clip on it and put it like on your belt loop or something. And the tactical rail has a priming mechanism, so it's not that good, I guess. I mean, it doesn't. I at least I won't put anything on there since you're going to slide it back and you don't want to scuff anything up. Um, an attachment for any type of barrel, and um, that's. And it's and the trigger, obviously. Oh, and and strike plate signs on each side of the handle, the grip, the handle thing, and it says Nerf on each side. So that's it for the blaster piece. Now on to the magazine. Magazine, 12 dart magazine. Um, it says and strike plate right here, and 12. It says Nerf and dart places to show you which way it goes. Um, it's one side see-through, one side not. It's hollow on the inside and it has a nice spring. And it takes 12 darts, obviously. You just load them in like, like this. They take stock elites and you just, there's two ways to load them in. The way to mess up your darts is like this. And you can do it a different way, which is, I think is personally easier and it doesn't mess up your darts. Is you push the dart down and slide it in. And make sure all the darts are going the same way, otherwise they'll shoot all messed up, and you'll get your darts chewed up by the blaster. They so just put all 12 of them in. Don't fall asleep. So, all 12 of them. Like that. Then you just put it in the blaster. And then I said earlier there's a stock for one dart, so you can fit one dart in e either way. I personally like it where the orange tip is facing us so you can grab it again. It'll take a while to grab this. So, pull it back. Put the magazine in. Pull it forward. You're ready to shoot. Now there's two other aspects to the gun. There's a retaliator stock, which can go on the back of the gun. It's just a simple stock. It goes on your shoulder, so it can help with, um, like, not having to carry the gun like a pistol or anything. It has a release button, so you can pull it down um, and release it backwards. And you can just put it onto the gun. You do not put it on like this, upside down, otherwise it'll look kind of funny. It'll basically be pointless. But you do put it on like this. So you can like have better down like motion or something. And it looks kind of like an SMG from Halo and um, like this, if you have it like this. So if you want to make it look like an SMG, there you go. So on to the next piece of the blaster. The barrel. It's tactical rails on both sides. One point you can put like um, uh, a sight, and on the other side is meant for the grip, which I'll get to later. There's a built-in sight right here, and um, 
You can put it up and down. I prefer it down. Sometimes I have it up if my target is below me. Um, but nonetheless, you understand. And just uh, colors like the dark, um, orange and blue and white. Just the dark doesn't have white. So and then you just attach the barrel on to the gun like this. You slide it in like that, and then you give it a twist. It's on. You're ready for good accuracy. That's what it's meant for. And then you can grab your, your grip, grip, your grip, and you just slide it on the tactical rail. And then there will be a firing test right now, and I'll shoot over there. Thank you for watching.